everyone and welcome to today's video all about Spike's incredible adaptations. So I'm sure it's not going to come to a surprise to anyone that hedgehogs have got incredible adaptations. So firstly, the most obvious one is their incredible quills. So this refers to all of their spikes all over their body. Now, naturally, these spikes are quite spiky. If you've ever um, accidentally pricked yourself with a needle, they feel a little bit like that. They're not a very nice feeling if a hedgehog decides to spike you with them. Now, what he does when he does this is he actually, as I'm sure you're aware, curls into a ball. He has got this really cool muscle that goes all around his body like this. And if he needs to, he can clench this muscle, which curls him into a ball. A bit like if you have your hand like this and you're, that's how he curls into a ball. And when he does this, all of his spikes all stick up like this. He's actually got between 5,000 and 7,000 quills on his body. Now, the amazing thing about his quills is they're actually made from the same material as our hair and nails, and they are effectively his hair because he is a mammal. Now, on his tummy, he actually has very soft little quills, and this is because he doesn't need the spiky quills on his belly. And this is why he curls into a ball to protect his belly, which is a lot softer. So this is obviously one of his best adaptations, but he also uses his quills sometimes when he's not curly into a ball. So hedgehogs can huff, and this is where they shake their quills and they kind of go a bit like if we're feeling a bit grumpy, they make a bit of a funny noise. And he can actually shake his body, quiver it like he's doing now. And this makes a little noise and makes his quills stand on end and makes them shake a little bit, which makes a bit of a noise. So that's very impressive and it's kind of a first warning sign to like back off and go away if they don't want to curl straight into a ball, if they're not too sure about the situation. His quills are incredible because he can even just lower the front quills if he's not too sure about what's going on and he can leave the other quills just a little bit raised but not fully raised. When Spike is feeling nice and relaxed he actually flattens his quills down against his body and this is a great way for us to see when he's feeling chilled out or when he's feeling a little bit like hang on a minute what's happening. So that's one of his incredible adaptations, the most famous adaptation. Spike also has got really cool ears. His ears are quite big which make him look really sweet and he uses these ears to help him keep a listener for anything that might want to hurt him like a predator. As I'm sure you can imagine, it's a bit tricky for a predator to catch a hedgehog because they've got all of their incredible quills. So sometimes a predator will get bored and leave a hedgehog alone if they can't get into the centre of their body or if they've been hurt by their quills. And sometimes hedgehogs get injured in this process. But the ears help the hedgehog to keep away from anything that might be a bit scary because obviously they don't want to put themselves into that situation in the first place. Now, you licking my arm. He also has a really wonderful little nose, which you might just be able to see as he's come to have a little sniff around my arm. He uses his nose, as we've mentioned, to find his food. His nose is incredible and it helps him to find food which is in the soil. He is also really good at moving and running. Now, typically a European hedgehog will travel for up to three miles a night, which is far too far for me. I'm definitely not a fan of that, but hedgehogs will travel that far to find food. And they have that stamina to be able to go and have a look. So if you are lucky enough to have a garden, you may want to, if you're allowed, have a little hedgehog hole in your fence to make sure that hedgehogs can access all the different gardens they need to in order to get their food and to stay nice and healthy. So I hope you have enjoyed learning a little bit about our wonderful Spikes adaptations today. Tune in tomorrow where he is actually going to have a spa day and he's going to have a little bath and we're going to try and trim his nails. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye.